Udo accounting tutorial for beginners. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can get started with Udo completely for free. So let's get started. Now, the best part about using Udo is that it is a complete accounting tool with the ability to serve as a project manager, a CRM, a planning tool, and a sales tool as well. So today we're going to be focusing on accounting because that's what we want to be using. And we're just going to click on start now. It's free to get started with Udo. So starting off, we are going to enter our first and last name, enter our company name, enter our email address, which is going to be imagemazel at gmail.com. And then we're just going to click on start now to get started with our Udo accountant trial. Now, once we have signed up for our trial, the next step is simply to move forward. And all we have to do is to set up our dashboard. So now first off, Udo will create a space for you to work in. And within that space, you can proceed on and use Udo with all of its tools. Starting off, you have your accounting tool. So Udo has all of its tools integrated and then you're just going to click on accounting over here. And once you click on accounting, you guys will see this is what your Udo dashboard is going to look like. So this is what the Udo accounting dashboard looks like. They have some sample metrics for you. On top, they also have a dashboard where you can add your widgets. And then after that, they also have your customer section, vendor, accounting, reporting, and configuration. So the first part of accounting usually is going to be to add customers and add your vendors so first off go into customers and then click on customer over here once you click on customer you can proceed with adding your customers so what you're going to do is you're just going to click on new on the top left and then you're going to enter whatever customer this is. If this is a person or a company let's say this is going to be called Carfo okay and then after that we can enter our email that we have for that particular company. Then we have their address, NTN, website, tags, as well as any specific contact that is related, sales and purchases that are related, accounting, as well as notes. Once done, you are just going to proceed and you can proceed with adding the next person or the next company. So let's say this is going to be Hillary Smith, and then we can add their contacts, related information and more. Once done, you can just proceed on like you normally would. Now, if you go into customers, you will see your customers, both the companies as well as the individuals that you have added. Now, obviously, customers and vendors are two different things. So once you add your customers, the next thing you want to do is add your product so you can start creating invoices, credit notes and payments. So go into products over here and then click on the top left where it says new and then you can proceed with adding your products. Now adding products is a very simple task. You don't need anything complicated for this. So to get started with adding our product, we are just going to go on ahead and we're going to name our product. Let's say this is our VR kit that we are selling and we are not we are purchasing as well as selling them so if this only falls in the purchasing or sales we are going to go with both over here and once we do that we can move forward on to our next step which is just going to be to go into general information whether this is a good service or combo so our vr kit is going to be added as a good because obviously this is a physical product and then after that i can enter the price of the product as well as the sales tax the cost of the product so let's say the cost that i am purchasing at is almost half so three thousand let's say and then the purchase taxes let's say we are not adding any taxes we can add the category so you can later on have it easier for you to be organized with all of your products so you can add categories for that but you can skip that if you want so i like to directly add this for easier you know expense tracking we're going to add this under goods and then after that we have the barcode and reference that we can add once done our product has been added so on the top right, you even have the ability to edit the product. And now I can click on new to add more products, services, goods. And then you have your payable, so your expense account, as well as your receivables where it ends in receivables. Now, once we've done both of the primary things, the next thing is payments, credit notes, and invoices. So starting off, whenever you are creating, you know, your payments or credit notes or invoices, you just need these two basic things. And then from here, you can proceed with customer payments. You have two types of payment types. You have sending and receiving. And then the manual payment method is added by default. You can add another one as well. 
Then after that, you also have your vendors. So you're going to go into vendors as we added our contact in the same way you're going to be adding your vendors. So it's pretty much the same thing again, where you just go ahead and step by step, add your vendors. Starting off, all you have to do is go on ahead, click on new on the top left. Once you click on new on the top left, you are going to proceed with adding your whether or not this is a company or a person, you're just going to add them. Let's say this is a company and this is going to be JITS Productions. And then from here, we can add a contact that is related. So I'm going to click on add contact and then we can add that contact as well. We can add the sales and purchases, so the payment method, terms, payment terms, and more. Accounting as well. And then you have your notes. And once done, just click on save. Now, just like that, we have saved our first vendor within our Udo CRM. Moving forward, the next thing we are going to do is head on over and simply go into vendors and you can see products. So you have the products that you are selling to your customers, but then you also have products that you're receiving from your vendors. So you can add those over here. You also have refunds and billing that you can manage. And now once you have all of the basic data points covered, you can move towards reporting. Accounting and reporting have some really amazing features, including your journal entries, journal items, assets, and liabilities, including loans, reconciliation, locking dates, and tax returns. Then within reporting, you have management, partner reports, audit reports, and statement reports. So Udo CRM, Udo Accounting, and all other Udo apps are an all-in-one tool that can help you in covering all aspects of your business. The best part is, is that this is completely free. Then they have their standard one at $7 and the custom at $10.90. However, with monthly billing, this is going to be $9.10 and then $13.60. So personally, I do think that you're not going to find such an amazing and comprehensive comprehensive accounting tool anywhere else other than Udo. If you enjoyed this video, I would recommend that you please leave a like. And if you have any questions regarding this video, regarding any other video, or regarding any social platform, then you can definitely ask me in the comments down below. And I will try to answer as soon as possible because that is the point of our YouTube channel. I want to show you guys on how to glide through these platforms and how to easily navigate and fulfill the purposes that you want Want to do with these social platforms and make sure to subscribe to our youtube channel and check out other videos and if you feel like some other video might be helpful to someone else make sure to share our videos with your friends and family as well and if you find that there is something missing i will try to figure out a way to integrate more accurate content according to your needs onto the channel so make sure to tell me if you find anything missing so that was it for today make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel and I will catch you guys in the next video.